आई एम डॉक्टर प्रदीप एवारे कंसल्टेंट यूरोलॉजिस्ट एंड ट्रांसप्लांट सर्जन फोर्टीज हॉस्पिटल कल्याण डियर फ्रेंड्स लेटेस्ट टॉक अबाउट समथिंग रिगार्डिंग किडनी स्टोन्स द इंसिडेंस ऑफ किडनी स्टोन्स इज इंक्रीजिंग डे बाय डे इन इंडिया वी सी लॉट मेनी पेशेंट्स ड्यूरिंग समर दैट इज फ्रॉम मार्च टू सप्टेंबर वेन द हीट इज एट पिक एंड द ह्यूमिडिटी इज ऑल्सो हाई नाउ हाउ डू दे प्रेजेंट the kidney stones may present as a acute ureteric colic wherein there is a severe acute excruciating pain in the uh, loin to groin occasionally radiating to the meatus this pain is so severe that at times it requires injectable analgesics sometimes the pain is because of back pressure changes which is dull aching pain in the loin this is also seen in the ureteric stones and kidney stones sometimes there is a severe dysuria because stone approaches into the lower ureter or into the bladder giving rise to dysuria occasionally when a large stone obstructs the main urethra patient goes into the retention and then patient presents with acute retention of urine we have seen many patients where there are no symptoms but the large stone is present in the kidney which is picked up on sonography when it is done for something else and such patients present to us with large asymptomatic stones they also need a treatment occasionally patient presents with pyuria that is a pus in urine sometimes patient presents with blood in urine all these various presentations of renal stones we see over a period of time now how do we diagnose kidney stones we diagnose kidney stones ideal uh, imaging technology is a plain ct kub occasionally we do sonography of kub rarely we suggest ct urography urine examination and creatinine values in the blood are contributory to diagnosis then how do uh, we manage the kidney stones a very small kidney stones less than 4 5 mm size in the kidney or ureter is managed expectantly that is we ask the patient to drink large quantity of water give some medicines which dilate the urinary tract and facilitate the passage of stone this is known as a conservative treatment sometimes a large stone relatively large stone in the bladder or in the ureter we remove cystoscopically or using ureteroscope and the laser fiber is passed through cystoscope or, uh, or ureteroscope and the uh, the urinary stone is fragmented using laser fiber a relatively large kidney stone nowadays is managed by rirs rirs is retrograde intrarenal surgery wherein we pass the flexible ureteroscope from the external meatus right up to the kidney so the Uh, ureteroscope travels right through the urethra through the bladder through the ureter into the kidney you can imagine we can reach up to the kidney from our external passage through natural tract and disintegrate the stones using a laser fiber this is recent and highly advanced technology which is now readily available at fortis hospital kalyan and we are regularly treating such stones using rirs occasionally when there is a very large stone in the kidney which occupies more than half the kidney or occasionally whole kidney such patients we manage using pcnl or minifer wherein we put a nephroscope through the back into the kidney disintegrate the stone using laser or some other energy source and thus we clear the stone so all practically all stones can be cleared by uh, different modalities now a word about prevention most of the patients we see are having reduced fluid intake all stone patients if we ask history uh, categorically we find out that their water intake is very less so very important thing we suggest that a patient should increase his fluid intake to 3 to 3.5 liters per day so his urine remains dilute and the stone formation goes down second important thing we suggest the patient to increase the fiber in the diet so that all these uh, lithogenic elements are bound to fibers and they are excreted in feces third thing is we ask the patient to reduce the intake of salt that is no added salt at table 
this is very important and the last thing which is very important for us avoid overindulgence in dairy products these are the very few tips which prevent the stone formation